What's going on YouTube? Tonight I am installing new door speakers on the F-150. So the end goal is going to be a full system. Um, basically I want to do a couple tens in a uh, box mounted underneath the back seat. Um, again my truck's a 2013 F-150 crew cab. Um, so I want to do the uh, dual tens in a shallow mount box mounted under the seat amp as well. And obviously I'm doing door speakers right now. So nothing fancy, just upgrading OEM. So what I did today is I went out and got a set of four six by eight kicker door speakers. The exact same ones that come from stage three performance. Um, if you go to the website, it's about 200 bucks for the four speakers. And it also comes with the wiring harness, which basically is a plug and play action. So those speakers from them, they plug right into your factory ones. These ones, however, are not plug and play. They're just your standard door speakers. So I'll have to do some butt connectors and uh, crimp them on, solder if I have time. Um, but again, same speakers. So, and they were actually 80 bucks. Let me grab the phone here. <clears throat> so they were actually $80. So here you go. Here's the new speakers here. They are the Kicker K5s. Here's the box that came in. So actually the KSC68, so six by eights. Um, like I said, these are the same exact packaging and everything that you find on stage three performance. Um, right out of the box, these are significantly heavier. Um, they do have bigger magnets over stock. Um, my stock ones are seen better days. Ford, made in China, fantastic. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's the factory kind of connector. Um, and this is what kicker comes with, just your standard speakers. Um, so when I unbox them, you get two speakers in each box. You also get, you know, I guess it's just the standard wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Uh, I've already taken off the passenger. Let me turn that radio down. I've already turned off the, or turned off. I've already taken off the passenger door panels we got here in front of me. Um, it is dark out. It's Christmas. The truck's over there. We're not working on the Explorer. Um... So it's dark out and I wasn't really able to get any footage of me physically taking the door panel off, but I'll do a highlighted segment. Um, so basically, here's the receipt from where I went. It's called Livewire. You see two of them, 80 bucks. So it's about $160 for the four speakers, which all in all, I think it's a fair deal. They're supposed to be uh, you know, a lot better. So basically, when you get your door panel, just to highlight, you're going to have a total of four bolts on the door panel itself um two maybe three if you have the uh folding mirrors i do not have folding mirrors um but anyways you have an eight millimeter in here the door handle piece um that is just a plastic cap that pops off um, i just use a standard flathead that was able to pop off fairly easily this one behind the door handle again is going to be an eight millimeter and it has this little panel piece that goes obviously behind the door panel like this that one's a bit tricky um or so i heard online it didn't really i didn't have any issues with it the tool i used was just a uh, cheap little pick so when you pull the handle back like this slide that in you know behind here and just pull forward and it popped right out for me um so again eight millimeter here eight millimeter down in here um and then across the bottom there are two bolts leave ones like over there and one's over there. Those are both six millimeter um, sockets. So, like I said, so you have four bolts all together. The door panel comes off. Um, to get it off, you just lift it up and then out a little bit. Um, and then once that was off, you lean it forward and you either disconnect the door handle piece. We can walk over to the truck right now. That one, uh, let's go over here and show you. So that one, there's a couple different ways I've seen people take them off. This is what it looks like. Um, I just got a pair of needle nose pliers. Pinch these together and slid this clip back. And then uh, obviously this little piece here just slides off your door handle, um, the cable for it. And then that's loose. And then again, I had two plugs un undo. One's the window, one's the uh, door lock. And then of course you have your speaker plug unplug that and then you have four bolts holding the speaker on those are all five and a half millimeter so that's it um, all right guys we're back passenger side well these are all the tools that i just used on the other side not very many i've got my drill with the three size sockets 
needle nose razor blade for cutting the uh, wire loom around the actual speaker wires back a little bit. Spatula actually worked great for taking this panel off. Let's see if we can do it here on film. Slides back, kind of pulls off. There you go. So the panel's off. And there's your one bolt right here. That's all it is. You just got a clip and clip. So two clips. Throw it in the grass for now. <clears throat> so that's all the spatula was. I'll take my pick now. I'm talking about the door panel or door handle. So you pull the handle back and slide it just behind here and pull towards you. That's doing it one handed. Bear with me. So you can get it back and just pull. There it is. So you pull that. And this elastic piece. That's the little cover there. And it exposes this one 8mm bolt here. So I'll put my cover down. Get my uh, little pick out of the way. Okay. So that's it for these tools. Spatula and pick are done with now. Um, drill. There you go. So now we need to take our 8mm off down here. So we'll get the 8. Uh, this one I would recommend. I'd actually recommend using power tools. For whatever reason, this 8mm is pretty decently in this door. Um, all the other ones come out normal, but that one in particular, that one 8mm that's happened on the last two doors, including this one. So I got my little handy uh, sockets here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bear with me. I'm going to change the socket real quick. Okay. Now I have the 6 millimeter on the drill here. We can take out this one. Yeah, those come out much easier. So we'll drop the, uh, the 6 down. And then you have the 6s on the bottom of the door. So you have one up here, fairly easy to come off. You have this one over here. Having a power tool is definitely making this uh, job go on a lot quicker. You don't have to have it, but it just saves time for sure. So now that you have the three sixes out, the eight millimeter, like I said, this entire thing just lifts up and off. And what you'll want to do is the bottom of the door has got these clips here. Leave the clips kind of in their slots. You back up. So you can kind of have the door hinged forward. And you see how easy that was. I mean, I just did that one-handed. And now down in the door, underneath, you see you have your door latch here. That's the same as the front I showed earlier. It's got the little two clips. It's going to take a needle nose. Let me grab those. I doubt I'll be able to do this one-handed, but I'm going to take my needle nose, undo this clip here, and then all that's left is this black wire here. It goes down to the uh, window switch here. What I found out on the other side is that it's easier, what I'm doing now is sliding my hand back and reaching up underneath this window thing, switch, and I'm actually going to it up and I didn't take the other one out and if you do this or when you're doing this you'll notice that the switch the plug for this there's not enough clearance on the back side to unplug it unless you just pop this back side out then it allows a little bit more space so that plug you can actually just unplug so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna stop the camera I'm gonna unplug this I'm gonna take that little uh, door latch cable thing off and then the panel will be completely off all right, so, sorry about that, just took a second. So you'll see what I'm talking about. I was able to, I think this will focus, this green clip here, you pop these tabs in, you can slide it back, wiggle it around, and then this just lifts straight out of the door. And that's how the door latch works. And then, like I said, you're gonna reach down this black wire here. That is your window here. So we're just gonna, kind of doing it blindly here. There's your plug, that unplugs. Once those two are off, as you can see, 
the entire door panel is loose. We'll set that right here. Door panel's off. There's more of a uh, close-up of what we're working with. So, kind of tricky. Not too bad, though. Um, so now we'll just go ahead and take the... Uh, of course. Got to switch sizes. I've got the 6 millimeter uh, socket thing in there. Got to put the five and a half. Once that's on, go right for the speaker. Got one, two, and now that those are off, we can go ahead and pull our speaker out. You just got your normal factory plug, unplugs off the speaker, and it's free. So I'm not going to bore you guys with doing the new speaker. It's the same process. I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> put the new speaker and put the door panel. One thing I'll note, I'll mention, um, I didn't do this on the first door. Put the butt connectors. So I put these on already. Um, obviously, this is the end that plugs into the speaker. For whatever reason, the first door, I decided to plug the speaker in, and I found myself holding the speaker here, trying to get these butt connectors hooked up to the factory wires and butt connecting them. It's a pain in the ass. Just don't plug this in yet. It's a lot easier to work with a, uh, you know, five-ounce little piece of wire as opposed to holding on to this however much that speaker weighs. So that's something live and you learn kind of thing so like i said i'm gonna get this done i'm gonna get this put on here uh butt connector put the new speaker in actually i'll show you here um the holes line up perfectly so you can see everything lines up um i did try the other two just now i've been turning the car on as i'm going and making sure everything sounds good um everything's working so far so let me go ahead and button this up, um, get the driver door done. But again, this is the uh, same process for the front. I know I didn't do a breakdown of the front door panels, but I'll tell you what, everything is identical, except for that the front has one extra plug to undo, and then it has uh, the 8 millimeter down in this cup, whereas the rear doesn't. Other than that, same thing. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.